Alright, just another quick little update. I guess this would probably be update 6. 5 or 6. I can't remember. But anyway. Um, today, so far, it's about, I think, 2 o'clock right now. So, I've gotten the ears partially welded on. I still have to make some plates to fit in there. So I can weld that down to there. Um, still have to go across here. Um, I'm not sure what I'll do here. I might bring a brace, cut a plate that comes down across here and covers that there, just to brace that a little stronger. Um, probably won't. Probably just leave it like that. But I did have to cut these off one once. Um, luckily, I had had them just tacked on. So, um, but I had to. Um, cut them off, cut them off because the bushing I was using, you can, you can see here, that one's about, I think, three and five eighths, can't remember. Yeah, three and five eighths. Um, and I was using a um, to space them apart. I didn't realize I had used a three inch um, bushing um, for the arm. So I was using these ones, which are. about four and a half inches long so they're quite a bit longer than these ones so they were spaced way apart but anyway cut the tacks off um, made up a block of wood so I can fits in there and then I clamp it down and then I can um, just weld it or tack it, take these off and sure it fits and everything and weld it all up but, um, Got the inside basically done. I'm going to do a couple more beads back and forth over top there. Um, kind of hard to get in there with the welder. There isn't a whole lot of room to move. So, but anyway, um, yeah. Um, let's see what else? Just have a chain to hold it up for now. Um, hole for the grease nipples all drills and everything um, engines got a temporary brace or support there for now um, still haven't gotten bolts for this yet um, grabbed a couple bolts that I thought were long enough but I was looking at I made a list but I was looking at the uh, different bolts and I got I think 10 4 inch bolts instead of a couple 5 5 inch ones but anyway grab a couple, couple more tonight I guess um, yeah so chairs just up on blocks for now tanks gonna be mounted in there down there I think that'll be okay for the pump to bring oil up um, I'm not sure but um, yeah, hoping for today I'll probably get angle iron for here, cut and tacked on, um, and I'll throw the bucket on quickly, um, I'll stop the camera because I don't know, I haven't put it on since I welded so it might be, take a little while, um, actually maybe, what I'll do is, um, I won't be able to see the bucket, but anyway, I'll just make one entire video. Give me a sec while I put it on.
No, I'm gonna have to grind the ends of the bushings down a bit. Um, don't know why it's not fitting now, but just a hair too much to fit in there. But I guess it must have shrank when I was welding. I'm just assuming. But anyway. Uh, All right. After some grinding and beating on it with a hammer, finally got it to slip back on. Um, Video back in a few minutes. Just hang on. Bye. And just give me a sec. Something doesn't look straight. Oh no, we're okay. Never mind. Um. Anyway. Uh. So. Uh. It fits. I had to take. I didn't track. I left some room there just for the bushy to wear. Um, I'll keep it good and greased. Uh, like I've said in my other videos, I'm going to cut chunks of this about that big and slip it over there just so it has a little more room width surface area for it to wear and it won't just pull through here. Um, the linkage here is a wood template. Something like something like this. Um, somewhere about here I think it's going to be mounted about there about well, six inches up from the middle of the pin so about there or so, so um, then I'll have the other side same way with a brace going in between here and the other um, bar um, don't know if I'll do the same for in between here and there um, and the cylinder at will attach to the pin that goes across here, where that bolt is. So, Alright, um, I'll swing it down off the table and show you guys what it looks like. Looks pretty well. Good, I think. Um, may make it a different buck in the future. Um, what had happened with this shape here, I would have done it like any other bucket where it kind of uh, goes more like that. Um, is my friend... No, not my friend. Oh, who was it? Oh, never mind. But anyway, um, I was cutting, cutting the one side, and then I started cutting on another line, and I got halfway through, and I noticed that I went with a different line from a different bucket pattern I wasn't going to use. Um, so I, instead of trying to cut a whole another bucket, I, ha I have to do it with all with the grinder to cut all this out. So, because I don't have a cutting torch or a plasma cutter or anything like that. Um, I just kept cutting it and then did the same with the other side. But it turned out pretty good. So. I'll swing the arm back over off the table and show you guys what it looks like.